Hey everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, we'll be talking about wireless connection between two different devices on ROS platform. So I have one system over here, which is the ROS code. And there's one laptop over here, which is connected to one specific dongle. So that means we are in the same network. Uh, so let's see how we do it. Now the concept behind ROS network is that to have one ROS core running for all the systems. Now let's just say there's one ROS core running and I have a robot here, which is R1. And I have a, another robot R2. Now there'll be a server which will host this raw score. Let's just say in our case, uh, my raw score is running on 172.16.2.189 and the port for raw score is 11311. Now I can set up R2 and R1 to communicate with the raw score on this port and run all the subscriptions or publishers that they are running. In this case, R1 can communicate with R2 and R2 can communicate with R1 and they both can communicate with server 2. So there is a link which is more like this can communicate with this. This can also communicate with this and R2 can also communicate with R1. Everyone can communicate with each other using this particular method. So let's try doing this. So I have two different systems running on the screen. First one is the server which is Veshwik. This will run the raw score. Let's just say I have a robot which is running and the name is Ashwini. And this is the robot which will be subscribing to the raw score that I'll be creating. Now we'll try to launch raw score onto a particular port of server. To do that, export raw master and then http colon uh, my IP address which is this and on onto this particular port. Once that is done, start your raw score. Now you can see my ROS master URI is my system. Now go to robot and tell which port and which IP raw score is running. Same thing. Export ROS master and then http colon and then the same system and 11311 now after that you can go to the server and try to run something for example let me connect to source first and then ROS run ROS tutorial and then let's try listening now I have initialized a listener node onto raw score here check if it has been updated in the robot you can see here I have had a node which is chatter try to send something to it Now the robot has started sending some string onto the uh, topic chatter and the server can receive it now. Now we are able to communicate between the robot and the system using a server which is hosted onto the server port 11311. I hope you have understood how we are able to communicate between two different devices uh, over Wi-Fi and uh, the robot is able to connect to server and multiple robots can do the same thing. We have also known in the previous videos how to communicate between two different nodes, servers, subscriptions and how to get data from and to server. So now from here on we can actually start working on navigation stack and see if we can uh, make a simulation first about the robot uh, starting from one point of the room to the other and uh, take the fastest and the most safest route for himself. Stay tuned for this video and thank you for watching.